Hello everybody, Robert here with more Rivet Training and today we're going to look at plumbing here. So I had a question um, with somebody because I did this video a while back where I did the plumbing manually and they wanted to know about auto routing in uh, Revit for plumbing. It works pretty much the same <coughs> as any type of uh, system in uh, Revit. So here, what I want to do is basically, I'm going to just show you, well, I'll show you a few things that are kind of important. Uh, we will go down here, we're on the plumbing level, and then uh, let me look at, open up these families here. Okay, so that's basically it for that. <clears throat> but no, it's very simple. Uh, you want to be in your system tab and say you want to select uh, say your water heater because we're going to deal with the water system here and here you know you just uh, go and uh, edit the system basically um, so this is let's see uh, what are we going to have here we're going to add the system so we want to go to um, Cancel this out. My bad here. Let me start that over a bit. So here, <coughs> you basically select this water heater right here, and then um, you want to generate a layout. And this one would maybe be hot water. And we'll say OK here. So there's the hot water line generated but there are a few things that you have to do you know you've got to do beforehand um say like our fittings here but i'm going to put this in a uh what it is in a fine view and that's just those lines i haven't generated the layout and then also here you want to look at um they give different you know layouts you can do the perimeter uh and then you got different settings here that you can use. So this is probably not going to be, yeah, I would think that's going to be nine feet. It's going to be in the air, so I'm not going to mess with that. But yeah, because we did this project, I might send you a video of how I did this project once before. But this is how you basically use this. And then you can select here, up here, the different layouts option that you have. You see it change. I don't really know what's the best for this one. But that's it, and then you can go and change per system. So let's go back here and figure out which one we're going to use here. I think maybe we might want to do a. Let me see what intersections look like. I kind of like that. Nice and simple, but you know, you figure you do whatever you like, and then if you like that one, you just click finish here, and there's your pipe system. <coughs> Now here, we can go into these views. You see there, there's a the pipe. Now, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with the view template. It should be uh, fine, but that's probably in the settings. But basically, that's really all you need to do to do a, um, a plumbing layout or a piping the auto route so yeah I put that section there you can see it there but what I'm going to do now is just so you can look, see it a little better because I'm, I'm not sure why that's not in 3D oh, that's another little job project so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back here And I'm just going to do a call out here in this area right here. Go to my view. We all know how to do these. And just go and just come on. Yeah. Oh, cancel that. Really, I don't need to even do that. I can even do this. So I'm going to go to my 3D view here for this. 
there we go. Not seeing my pipe in this view, but uh, don't quite know why that's uh, happening there. But those are those pipe, and that's basically how you do an auto route in uh, Revit. Yep, so I've got some view issues going on here. Um, maybe I need a plumbing view template. I think I would do for this because this would be an architectural model drawing. So um, I would normally do this in a um, a plumbing or MEP uh, template. But anyway, I hope that answers your question. That's basically how you do it. Um, you just uh, go in there and you select the equipment and then another thing you could do just to show you this uh, go back in the systems here and we can also select this equipment and we could um, we can monitor it we can add power to it here you know circuit it and circuit and everything you look connected to a panel but we don't have that here so Basically, like I said, it works like everything else. It works like the conduit and uh, the cable tray. You just uh, have a piece of equipment and you basically go in there and just say, like I said, this bad tub. And you want to, you, you know, just want to auto route. So, hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope this answers your questions. Uh, yep, there you go. <laughs> Maybe we should even do the hot water right quick. Since we're there, um, let's go back in this this plan view, and then I'll go and I'll say, oh, uh, I'll select this guy, and I want to edit the system here. Now let's go back. I want to go to let's go to sanitary here. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here. system and I want to edit the system but I want to change this to sanitary okay and then I want to uh, select the equipment and it's going to be everything it's going to be this this and this and this and then I'll go and generate a layout here There's one layout. Let's look at the other. There's another one. So this is underground anyway. Let's look at the settings here. Make sure. Yep, they're below. They're below grade. So that's okay. We don't really care. We just want to get the sanitary out. So we'll finish that, and that'll be our sanitary. We got a little warning area there, but that's okay. And see, so so here comes our piping and our fittings. And then, like I said, the fittings are important. Um, let me go look at our properties here. Our project browser. Plumbing view. Yep. Family fittings. Should always have that open, but I can do this even better. I can grab one. I'm going to just grab this one and see what it is in properties so yeah there's that fitting that's PVC so and then here now what happens you have to basically give the route and make sure you had the right fittings for the route so that's something you might want to look at we could talk about later on so then there's our, our sanitary system going there now so we've got the hot we got the cold water so then we can go ahead and do that again basically but I'm going to leave it there. I uh, hope that answers your question. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, anybody watching for the first time, uh, please subscribe. It helps me make videos. I don't know why I'm not seeing my plumbing here. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. So my plumbing. I have to put that in another drawing, but that's okay. We can see it here in the section views. <laughs> Oh, there they are. Some of them are showing up and some of them won't for some reason, but it's a view template situation, but there they are. So, hey, thanks for watching. 
Uh, anybody new to the channel, please subscribe. Help us make videos like this all the time. Bye, y'all. Be safe.